Evening all, it's just approaching quarter past six uh, in the Lee Valley on a Tuesday evening. The fish we're on is uh, the Crown, remind me Carl, Crown? Crown Netherall. Crown Netherall. Mr. Sharp there. Putting out some goodness. Yep, yeah, we're out. That's it. The Crown Netherall fishery. That's the one. Uh, in the heart of the, uh, the Lee Valley. It's a lake owned by Anglin Direct. And that's one of the reasons that we're here. Um, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, we're, uh, we are going to participate in a bit of work. <laughs> Isn't that right, Carl? But uh, being to, me and Carl have uh, travelled up from the Midlands. Uh, we've had the, uh, well, shall we say a perk? We've had the uh, the opportunity to do a uh, an overnighter on this lovely lake, which is around about five acres. Carl, in fact, just lost a, a fish, which we don't think was very big, but there's been plenty of fish crashing. We've been here since around about 1 p.m. this afternoon. We uh, travelled from Birmingham just after gone the road about half past nine. Drove through some absolutely appalling conditions, but um, beautiful blue and white skies now. Really warm, very windy. Got a duck that hasn't left us alone since we've been here. <laughs> but uh, we're actually uh, popping over to the other side of the lake shortly for uh, a social and a nice barbecue with uh, some work colleagues. So Carl's just taking this opportunity to, uh, to spam out some uh, some chops. And I think he's using whether they're 14 mils or 12 mil boilies. And hopefully. Uh, for a nice better bait out there for uh, when we return to get the rods back out later on this evening. So, so yeah, a bit of an opportunist uh, session this one. As I say, there's been loads of fish crashing, uh, mainly on that far margin. Uh, we've been told that there's a good head of fish in here, and we've been told that if we catch anything under 20 pounds, we're very unlucky because there's a lot of fish in here around about the upper double stamp. 17, 18 pounds, quite a few 20s we've been told. Um, there's a few crays in here which have been mullering the, uh, the pop ups of late. So we've been advised to use uh, bottom baits, but that was a stiff injury, wasn't it, Carl? The one that you had the. Uh... Yes, Matt, I've just got three stiff injuries. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Then Carl's gone with uh, stiff injuries on all three, all guns blazing. We've been told to use uh, pink pop-ups. They like a pink pop-up on here, so my two rods there are uh, fished on. Uh, I've got a cultured up bait with tipped off with a little bit of pink. One of my CM1 bottom baits with a little bit of pink to make a snowman. And I've got um, on that left hand rod there, the single one. One of Nashi's citrus pop-ups, washed out one. Uh, boosted up with some high tracked uh, spray and I've sprayed boilies over all three rods so they're fished quite quite tight to each other so I've got a reasonable patch of bait out there pretty much the same as what Carl's doing we're fishing three rods tight to an area I would say around about 50 or 60 yards you know if you just watch Carl spawn that out it'll give you a rough idea where he's uh, casting to there we go so yeah We can give it another 10 15 minutes, then we're going to head round as I say to the other side of the lake and enjoy, uh, enjoy a nice barbecue and some cold refreshment, no doubt, and some plenty of fishy tails and talk. Uh, and beer. <laughs> say that again, Cole. And beer. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of beer. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We've got a, a bit of a product development stroke presentation tomorrow with some of our products which uh, we sell in our branches under our own uh, 
own banner of products called Advanta. Just the wind, I think it was. Yeah, bivvies, bed chairs, rods. So that's one of the reasons we're here. But um, being as we've travelled so far, we've been given the uh, the option of doing the night. So uh, so tonight is the uh, is the social relaxation, and hopefully try and winkle a fish out. And tomorrow we're doing a bit of work. So just see uh, Carl stick out his spawn once more, and then I'm going to sign off, and we're going to go around and have uh, have a burger or two, and as Carl said, some some beer, and hopefully we're going to see you again before we depart tomorrow afternoon with uh, one of these uh, resident carp on the bank so what time is it now? 20 past 6 so yeah hopefully we'll catch you later Yeah. 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 Raise it. That's it. But a bit like that, if you can. Get on your knee. Ooh, that's all right. That's all right. Same again. Same yeah. again. Just over that side. Let me... Let me stop it. This one Slide under. Around. Flat away under to here. That's it. That's, that's, that's it. good. And then Right. Up like that. Yeah. But try and lose the hands. Bring the hands back round if you can. You don't drop the fish. That'll yeah. do. Kevin Maddox style <laughs> Good smile. <laughs> Carl! <Come on. laughs> cool. Well one done. One more, one more. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, good. Put it back, straight back in here. Yeah. Don't have any more shots. Yeah, we're going to carry it back. we keep yeah. it low, yeah? Yeah. Keep it low. Only I need to be able to when you get time. Yeah, let him put on the ears and don't let it go. 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 Let How big did that one go, Cole? Uh, Eleven and a half pounds, Matt. <laughs> Am I on? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 43 pounds, Matt. <laughs> 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 This one actually came before Carl's did. And believe it or not, whilst I was playing this one, <laughs> my left hand has rattled off and I've got a lovely mirror in the net, but remind me Carl which one? What uh, so this, this is just over 18, Matt. 
Absolutely stunning common. Yeah, my, mine wasn't that small, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it all back. It was in a double figure common. Yes. I do apologise. Five pound heavier <laughs> than I thought. <laughs> Absolutely fault like stink this one did. Oh, I, think really your, uh, I think your mirror might be a little bit bigger, mate. Yeah, it might be. It's, uh, it's a real nice scaly one. It's literally just been landing in. It's uh, getting its bearings in the uh, in the net. Being supervised by one of our colleagues. Good old Al. Just as well he was next door, wasn't it, Cork? Because all, yeah, <laughs> all been, I let loose, mate. Definitely been carnage without Alan. Thank you, Alan. Superb. Juggling skills with rods, there was lines, rods, but I mean nets everywhere, mate. But um, <laughs> cheers, Al. And uh, yeah, I'm chuffed a bit for that one, mate. Very nice. Just for the record, that one fell to two 15 mil 4G squid bottom baits. So I think we'll slip this one back and have a look at the mirror. Second one on the brace, 23 and 15 ounces, mate. Ooh. That's a cracking fish. Oh. Proper scurdy one, I don't have a mark on it, mate. The pecs on it, absolutely gorgeous. with the pictures mate? That'll do mate, yeah. They're looking pretty sweet. Thank you sweetheart. Pop your back. Get the rods back out. Chuffed. <laughs> 